Welcome to an example on how to solve an exact first order differential equation. An exact differential equation must fit one of these two forms here and the partial of m with respect to y must equal the partial of n with respect to x. So our first step is to write the given differential equation in one of these two forms here. So beginning with the given differential equation, one possible first step would be to cross multiply this product must equal this product. So this would give us the quantity negative six e to the x sine y plus six y natural log x plus four y squared times dy must equal the quantity negative six e to the x cosine y minus three y squared divided by x times dx. And to set this equal to zero, we would subtract this product on both sides of the equation, which would give us, it's going to change the sign of these two terms. So we'll have the quantity six e to the x cosine y plus three times y squared divided by x dx plus all of this remains the same. Now that we have the differential equation in this form, we now know m of x comma y and n of x comma y. So the next step is to make sure these partial derivatives are equal. So going back to the first slide, again here's m and here's n. Let's first find the partial of m with respect to y so the derivative of six e to the x cosine y with respect to y would be six e to the x times negative sine y plus the derivative of three y squared divided by x with respect to y which would be six y divided by x. Simplifying we have negative six e to the x sine y plus six y divided by x. And now let's find the partial of n with respect to x. So we'll differentiate n with respect to x, treating y as a constant. So the derivative of negative six e to the x sine y with respect to x is just negative six e to the x sine y. Plus the derivative of six y natural log x with respect to x would be six y over x, or six y divided by x. And the derivative of four y squared with respect to x would be zero. So notice how the partial of m with respect to y does equal the partial of n with respect to x, which means we do have an exact differential equation, which means the solution is going to be in the form of f of x comma y equals c, such that the partial of f with respect to x equals m, and the partial of f with respect to y equals n. So now let's work on determining the function f of x comma y. Again, if we know the partial of f with respect to x is equal to m, we can recover f of x comma y by integrating m with respect to x. This won't recover all of f of x comma y. It won't recover the y terms. So we'll have to include a function of y in the antiderivative. But again, this tells us f of x comma y would be equal to the integral of m, which is six e to the x cosine y plus three y squared divided by x integrated with respect to x. So f of x comma y equals the integral of six e to the x cosine y with respect to x would just be six e to the x cosine y. Plus we can think of this as three y squared times one over x integrated with respect to x which would be three y squared natural log x Then again, we're not recovering the y terms of f, so we'll have plus a function of y. So if we can determine the function of y here, we'll have recovered all of f of x comma y. And now we also know the partial of f with respect to y equals n. So using the function f of x comma y that we just found, we'll find the partial derivative with respect to y and set it equal to n of x comma y. So now we'll differentiate f of x comma y with respect to y, treating x as a constant. 
the derivative of six e to the x cosine y with respect to y would be six e to the x times negative sine y, or negative six e to the x sine y, plus the derivative of three y squared natural log x with respect to y would be six y natural log x, plus the derivative of h of y with respect to y would be h prime of y. And now we'll compare the terms of the partial of f with respect to y that we just found to n of x comma y. Notice how these two terms are the same. These two terms are the same, which means h prime of y must equal four y squared. So if h prime of y equals four y squared, if we integrate both sides of this equation, we can recover h of y, and once we have h of y, we've recovered all of f, we've recovered all of f of x comma y. So the integral of h prime of y dy must equal the integral of four y squared dy. Well, the integral of h prime of y, integrated with respect to y would just be h of y, and the integral of four y squared with respect to y would be four times y cubed divided by three, or four thirds y cubed. We don't include a constant of integration because remember our solution is in the form of f of x comma y equals c. But now that we know that h of y equals four thirds y cubed, we can substitute four thirds y cubed for h of y here, and now we know the function f of x comma y. f of x comma y is equal to six e to the x cosine y plus three y squared natural log x plus four thirds y cubed, which means the solution to the differential equation would be six e to the x cosine y plus three y squared natural log x plus four thirds y cubed equals c. So going back to our first slide, notice how we're only asked to enter the left side of our solution, or f of x comma y, which once again is six e to the x cosine y plus three y squared natural log x plus four thirds y cubed. I hope you found this helpful.